How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. These eerie photos have got the internet in quite a stir. From a ghost caught on film in a cafeteria to a possible dinosaur sighting in Scotland. These scary photos are sure to give you the chills. But as always, before we get started, hit that subscribe button for more interesting, creepy content just like this. This eerie photo was sent to us by Jerry on Instagram. While on a camping trip, Jerry said that he and his family were enjoying an afternoon by a lake. He said that his brother's girlfriend took this photo of him and thought nothing of it. However, when they reviewed the photo moments later, they were shocked to see the strange figure in the bottom left hand corner. The figure certainly has an eerie quality. The face is pale and featureless and its arms look unusually long while its torso is thin and misshapen. Jerry was shocked by the image. He was sure that nobody else was around when the photo was taken, and there certainly wasn't anyone walking that day with a featureless face. The viewer maintains he doesn't believe in ghosts, but admits this photo really did spook him. The image doesn't look manipulated in any way, however the figure does almost look like a statue with its unusual proportions and smooth features. Could it be possible that the photographer didn't notice the statue when the photo was taken? While this is a possibility, it doesn't detract from the undeniable creepiness of the image. A few years ago, this photo set Twitter alight with rumours that Mike Pence's daughter is a vampire. In 2016, Vice President Mike Pence posted an innocuous tweet about his family enjoying a quick dinner at Tex-Mex chain Chili's. However, it wasn't long before Twitter users noticed that Pence's daughter didn't seem to have a reflection in the mirror. Almost immediately, as the retweets ticked up into the thousands, people began speculating about what was actually happening in the photo. The most popular opinion was that Pence's daughter must be a vampire, or that perhaps she has no soul. Others thought she was a ghost, while some were too shocked that Pence was dining at Chili's to notice the apparent paranormal happenings. More grounded viewers thought the pic was nothing more than an optical illusion, created by the angle of the mirror and the relative position of Mike Pence, which would block his daughter's reflection. So what do you think? Is Pence's daughter a vampire, ghost or some other ghoul, or is it just a strange angle? A curious mum believes she's found evidence of the Loch Ness Monster. Lisa Strout from Ohio, US spotted the strange object while poring over Google Maps photos of the lock. In the photo, there's a strange creature or object protruding from the water. Judging by the view, the object must be at least several meters long and stands in contrast to the gray and green woodland scene in the background. According to the capture date, the photo was taken in April 2015 near Monastery Tower Fort Augustus at the southern end of the lock. Strout submitted the image to the official Loch Ness Monster Sightings Register, saying, I had been searching for Nessie on and off for the past few weeks, spending an hour or so a week on Google Earth. I had seen some of the latest Nessie sightings and thought that I can definitely find a better image of her than that, which I used for motivation to challenge myself to find her. It would appear she's done just that. The photo is the ninth claimed sighting in 2018 and becomes part of the more than 1,000 sightings that have been reported since the legend began. Could this really be a glimpse of the legendary monster that is thought to have swam in the lock for thousands of years? This eerie photo appeared on the internet in late 2018 and people are calling it genuine evidence of a haunting. User Nessie Melmel 2010 said that her aunt works in a middle school cafeteria, where apparently all sorts of strange things happen on a regular basis. One afternoon, after having a sense of being watched, strange noises could be heard all around the kitchen. Objects rattling, doors closing on their own. Finally, the aunt decided to take a series of random photos to see if anything would appear on camera. And sure enough, in one of the images, an eerie figure was captured. The entity looks to be female with long black hair. It appears to be wearing a long white dress, however it has a strange transparent quality to it as the fridge behind can be clearly seen. 
When the image was shared across social media, some reactions were skeptical, stating it's nothing more than pareidolia, the phenomenon of seeing familiar patterns in a random stimulus. However, users from the paranormal community hailed the photo as a fantastic find, one that definitely deserves more in-depth analysis. One commenter said that the image, coupled with the testimony of the witness, made for a compelling argument that this middle school is indeed haunted. Love to get your opinion on this strange image. Is this school plagued by some unseen entity, or is there a simpler explanation? A hiker in Scotland has taken a photo of an alleged dinosaur and it's freaking people out. Jimmy Wright snapped this bizarre photo while walking his dog in Crow Hill, Cologne, around 15 miles north of Glasgow. Wright said he saw the creature in the grass of a sloping hill. He quickly took a snap, but by the time he looked again, the animal had vanished. The photo appears to show some kind of dinosaur-like creature stretching out of a patch of long grass. It has a long, slender neck, stubby legs, and a broad body. Wright posted the image to Facebook with the question, a land relative of Nessie, perhaps? Naturally, the photo has attracted a lot of attention, garnering thousands of shares and comments, as well as syndicated articles across a number of large news sites. Some viewers called the find groundbreaking, suggesting that it may be some kind of unclassified dinosaur that has somehow managed to survive in the Scottish wilderness. Others, however, were a little more blunt, stating that the creature is nothing more than a tree stump. If it was simply a tree stump, then why did Wright make claims that the beast disappeared? Either the post was intended to be a joke among friends that got out of hand, or there is indeed some kind of strange monster stalking the fringes of the Scottish Highlands. This very unsettling photo has been doing the social media rounds since late 2018. The uploader said they were at the aquarium trying to take a series of selfies. They were attempting to line the turtle up with their right shoulder for a funny photo. However, by the fourth attempt, instead of the turtle, a terrifying face appeared in the picture. The figure appears to have disfigured features with an almost zombie-like quality. It has a strange blurriness to it, despite the rest of the image being in focus. Naturally, as the image spread around Facebook and Twitter, people were quick to call the figure a ghost or demonic entity. Some urged the man in the photo to go see a priest to be cleansed of the dark spirit that may have attached itself. Others thought it may just be a prankster that has quickly popped up to photobomb the selfie, causing the strange motion blur. So hopefully it's all just a hoax, otherwise this man might have been genuinely visited by a demon from another realm. Before we get to that number one spot and take a look at a truly chilling image taken in one of Ireland's most haunted mansions, remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on channel notifications. That way you'll be updated on all our latest videos. Paranormal investigators claim that this photo is genuine proof that ghosts exist. Loftus Hall in County Wexford Island is thought to be one of the most haunted mansions in the country. Those who visit report all sorts of ghostly encounters, including orb sightings, cold spots, and run-ins with apparitions. The hall has been featured on Ghost Hunters, Ghost Adventures, and a documentary has been made about it titled The Legend of Loftus Hall. Paranormal investigators have even managed to capture photos of what appears to be the ghosts of two women. In the photo, you can make out two ghostly figures standing in the dark doorway next to the woman in pink. They look grey and translucent and appear to be wearing old-fashioned attire. According to legend, in the mid to late 1600s, Charles Tottenham, along with his wife Jane and daughters Elizabeth and Anne, received an unexpected guest one evening when a young man knocked on the door seeking shelter from a storm. The family welcomed the stranger and they settled in for an evening of playing cards. When Anne leaned down to pick up a card that she had dropped under the table, she was shocked to see that the stranger didn't have feet, but instead had cloven hooves. When she screamed, the stranger transformed into a ball of fire and shot through the air, eventually exiting through the roof. The family believed that they had let the devil into their home on that fateful evening. 
Anne never recovered from the shock, and she became increasingly eccentric with her mental state rapidly worsening. She was eventually confined to her room and she died there in 1775. Anne apparently was unable to rest in peace. The home was plagued with poltergeist activity from that point on. Eventually, Father Thomas Broaders was called in to cleanse the home of the activity plaguing it. Could one of these figures be the ghost of Anne Tottenham? Perhaps the family were indeed visited by the devil himself, who condemned their souls to wander this old property forever. If you want more scary photos just like these, then don't worry, we've got you covered. Check out that top video there, or there's a whole playlist right there for you to binge on. Now in the comments section below, let us know which one of these photos you thought was the creepiest. And that's it for me, I'll see you all next time. 